Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. If this is new to you, welcome to my channel. I help people with twin flames, soulmates, ascension, healing, and love. Real love. Not what's passed for love, but real love. Welcome. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about the subject of abundance and let you know that as an activated person who is ascending, you are probably a bit confused right now about, you know, how does all this work? Okay, first of all, it's new. There are many new moving parts that need to connect to you so that you can have the comfort, health, and level of life that you really deserve and is your birthright. So, where do we even start? Well, first of all, it starts through your body. There is a brand new light body, and that light body has a body within it. So you have a body within your body, and that is a part of your much higher etheric body. Okay, it's a part of the body that encompasses you that when you die and you pass out of this physical body, you actually go somewhere. You don't stop existing. Your existence transforms into something else. And that is exactly where we are at. We are in the death throes of the old paradigm, which is has been a very large structure. It's been uh, a multidimensional structure for living, but that is now breaking down. Hence, the world seems to go crazy. There seems to be chaos. Okay. They do need restructuring. Everything needs restructuring. Your own life will restructure somehow, okay? It's no different than the reason that they implode a building, they blow it up so that they can build new. Now, that might sound really strange, but if things are functionally obsolete, it actually makes more sense from several angles to be able to just deconstruct or even destroy it than to, you know, build on top of something that's decrepit to begin with and would wind up giving a problem. That's where we're at, okay? We can't build on broken systems. So systems break down so we can build better ones. But you still live here and you want to have a life. So how do we do this? Well, I say by becoming the empress of your life, okay? Because at this level, you would be the empress. At another level, you may be the goddess. Now, a lot of people throw those words around. They use it for, you know, selling stuff like goddess size clothing or something like that. But I'm talking about the real feeling and the merges that go with it that make you feel like this, that actually expand your heart space from something this big, which keeps you functioning in a 3D environment, to something this big where you can have your connections reach you from the areas where that will really support you. You need ninth dimensional connections because those kind of come down and support you from underneath. You are quite literally having the ground under you move. You are, it's like having the, the, rug pulled out from under you. A lot of people feel like the rug has been pulled out or is being pulled out or it's not steady. It's like unreliable. Um, how you do this is again through your body, stabilizing yourself, which includes letting go of certain substances that are addictive. I'm just going to keep saying it. I'm, I, I don't want to cast dispersions, but I'm just going to say you can't get to those things if you're dragging down your vibe. It just doesn't work that way. You can't be, that is not how you bilocate. <laughs> you can't be in both places at once. You're either down there or you're stuck or you're just spinning in space. You're just spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Da, 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 da. And it gets old and repetitive. If you are noticing things keep repeating for you, if you notice that there is a shocking drain on you? Are people draining you? Do you get drained easily? Are other things draining from you? Are you having resources drain? Your health, your immune system, 
your finances, things that you have in the house. Do you find people are stealing from you somehow? Or, you know, there's like weird stuff happening in the financial area of your life. Do you need to turn this around? Yes, you do. Okay. And I have the way to do it. The way is not through hating or hiding. It is through action using your light body. It is for having key areas of yourself get up and running, open, blossom out, and connect to this ninth dimensional level that you need. Let's put it this way. Do you want to say, screw you, patriarchy? I can do this. I'm going to be on fire. Financial independence, retire early, right? Do you not want that fire? Financial independence, retire early. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? You want to be working till you're 80 or 90 years old? You might see people. Here in Chicago, this is an urban environment, and I see people. And when I went through that elderly lady phase of my healing, I said, oh, my God, bless those people that get up and they go greet people at Walmart. I don't know that I could do it. And there's more to know. As you ascend, it gets harder to be mundane. Okay? And that doesn't mean that, you know, everyone else owes you an existence. You can't leech off of people. You have to create it. You have to create your life and your abundance with your union. So I always say to myself, okay, that has no bearing on my twin flame union. That is one of my key phrases with myself. This or that that is happening has no bearing on my twin flame union. Now, I have been through several economic cycles, and it doesn't matter how spiritual you are. It can be scary, okay? You can get divorced, okay? There's going to be a lot of people who are so spiritual and thinking that, you know, they're just keeping things hunky-dory with their spouse until you find out that your spouse wants out. What are you going to do if they file for divorce? Okay, and this happens. I've had people where they the rug gets pulled out, and I'm not trying to scare you. I am trying to encourage you. Have a plan that aligns with the divine plan. Have a plan that aligns with true alignment of your soul, your whatever you call it, your soul's purpose, your 5D self. It's all valid. And Furthermore, you brought something here. You brought yourself here. You brought what you're gifted in. You brought what you're skilled in. I say let's get going because the world needs you. No time for hiding. No time for just, you know, having a life of quiet desperation, wondering when or where that other half is ever going to be. No, the connection's already in you. Get off of Tinder. Get off of the dating websites. Let's get started now because come next year, the, the shit's going to hit the fan for some people. Do you want a plan? You don't have to speak your plan to everyone. All you have to do is get on board with the plan, which is your plan. It's going to be unique to you, and yet it will follow a certain pattern, and we do want everything to be for the benefit of all concerned, okay? You're not here to be a martyr. You're not here to be a victim, okay? Even if you tell yourself that, if you're stuck, please, please, let's get you in alignment. Let's get you on track, okay? Now, one of the things that um, I think is really important for you to know because it's important. The bar is being raised. Now, that doesn't mean you're up for it. I think that a lot of people um, follow videos and stuff hoping to get a little inspired for the day. They don't want their hope taken away from them. People watch videos. They want, they want to have their hope. 
They want to have, because hope maybe was that opening wedge for you. Love is what opens the doors. Love is what opens you further, does not make you vulnerable. You are not vulnerable in love. You are strengthened in love. The love of your other half is a passionate, romantic, deeply passionate, deep, intimate love. When you experience that, that is what makes the difference for you. That is what becomes the driving force of your life. Not fear, but love. And this is why people, you know, people have an expression. They're like, well, be in love or, you know, express love, not fear. Sorry, but fear happens. It is a part of this planet. We have danger here. This planet has heavy gravity, which means if you fall, you're not supposed to learn the lesson of not falling, okay? Like, I have people I talk to from my own childhood where we're all like tough guys, right? We're like, yeah, you learned how to stay on your bike because otherwise you just fell on the pavement and that hurt. There are, pe there are people of a certain age who've been walking around with unrepaired injuries, unrepaired child abuse, real wounds inside them. And that's why it's time for next level healing. You're on your secondary healing. The first one was when you got that oomph of love, that love got handed back to you by some false twin and you thought it, they were the one and then they disappeared and ghosted you. No, ride that. Don't chase that idiot. Ride that right into your new life. Okay, now it's time for next level healing, secondary healing, which includes so many aspects of your life. So, like, we're all tough guys, right? We're on the playground. You fall. Well, some kids died. Some kids were maimed. I mean, there was a kid that, you know, going down, his finger got caught. They had to amputate the finger. It was just that badly damaged. These are wounds that can um, heal and repair, but some things may seem insurmountable, impossible. It is through 5D love that becomes possible. It is through that 5D love that the tensions disappear and the love can come in. And that is where I get you because you have some great things in you. You're not just one generation or you're criticizing the next generation that was like, well, they have it so soft. They have training wheels and they have, you know, cushiony playgrounds and they have, you know, other things or they were restricted. Yeah, a lot of those people get overprotected. Okay. Your protection comes from above you. Your protection protects and deflects the majority of things that would harm and hinder you if you do it right. If you do it where you are getting your heart energy, your high heart energy surrounding you on a daily basis, inspiring you, telling you sweet nothings, giving you music messages, etheric touch. If you're not having these experiences every single day, you are missing out. Girl, you are missing out and you need to be an empress. So please join us. Join. You'll learn. You'll grow. Get on with what you're really here for. So I hope to see you there. Please let me know about questions. Please have my practitioners help you. They are fabulous people. They've been through the school of hard knocks. I've been through the school of hard knocks. Can't tell by looking at me sometimes. We have had a year that is very hellish. I'm not going to lie. We've had a very hellish year. Last year, we thought it was hellish. You know, and, and that's what I want to help you out of is, you know, don't think that you're, you know, your life's a living hell. It may not feel suicidal, but you can still have that feeling like, God, my life, what the hell am I doing? My life's a living hell. Where's this going? Stop wondering. Start coming. Show up. Join. Participate. Or listen. But let's get going with it and get you on track. Okay? Sound good? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.